hey guys it's Jo and today I am doing another hair video it's been a while since I've done one of these and so I said you know why not I have a bunch of hair products that I'm always buying I'm always trying and testing out different uh, hair products for this curly hair of mine to see what works best I do have a go-to product and I realized in my videos that I haven't done this product that I like love it's like my go-to product it's the one I use all the time I just switch up every once in a while because it's good to switch up products once in a while because your hair gets immune to it and then it just doesn't work as good as it used to so once in a while it's good to trade off and then go back to it so this is part five it's been a while like I said since I've done it um, the one I use is for curly hair obviously so I am going to be using the coconut and hibis curl and shine shampoo and then the coconut and have this conditioner again for curly hair leave the conditioner on my hair for a little bit then detangle it to style it I am going to be using the coconut hibis frizz free curly mousse and my holy I love this I freaking love this one I use this sometimes even with with other products this is the curling gel souffle and what I love about this product is how it leaves my hair I love it and it smells amazing I'll show you guys the texture in a little bit the only thing that I'm gonna be using that's not shea moisture is my go-to leave-in conditioner by African pride olive a miracle and I always put this on my hair before I detangle it I always smell it even though I already know what it smells like it smells amazing guys and this thing is only like two or three dollars at Walmart Walgreens I don't think I've ever seen this at Target Sally Beauty Supply sells it it's a good size how, how many ounces is this 15 ounces smells amazing leaves your hair feeling amazing and makes it so easy to comb through so I love this this is the only product that I'm gonna put on my hair that's not shea moisture but I always put this product on my hair even on refresh days all right so I am going to go shampoo my hair and I'll be back in a minute all right so the conditioner is in now I'm gonna let that sit in there for at least three to five minutes just let it marinate in there moisturize my hair and rinse it off and then I'll come back and style the hair well the conditioner is off just rinsed it off my hair so detangled guys look at it ah it needs to be detangled all right so what I'm gonna put on my hair next is like I said my awesome African pride olive a miracle and this thing is a miracle I can't believe how affordable it is and it smells amazing I usually put like one dollop one big one and I divide my hair in two and just put it in there to get all up in there guys all up in there and what I'm gonna use is my wide comb to comb through this hair Now that my hair is completely detangled, I'm gonna put a little bit more of the leave-in conditioner. Just a little bit. I always smell it. I like to put it in my ends, make sure it's nice in there in my ends. Especially back here. I don't know about you girls or guys. Um, my hair is like extra frizzy back here. So I like to put a little extra Maybe some pulling it up in a ponytail, I don't know. So now I am going to move on to the mousse. I always like to put a mousse in my hair. I don't know, I feel like without putting mousse, my hair just looks different. And I've done it before and it just doesn't look, it looks puffier and drier with the mousse. Maybe it weighs it down, I'm not sure. It looks better and that maybe it's just me. I'm going to use the coconut and hibis frizz free curly mousse. always go to town 
the moves. All right, it's in there. Yep, all open there. My favorite, the souffle. I gotta be careful because it's like a jelly. Oh, you see that? <laughs> the weird thing about this product is that it doesn't always look like this. Um, sometimes I buy it and it's more solid. And other times I buy it and it's a liquidy like this. I prefer when it's liquidy like this because I can. I feel like I can distribute it in my hair better. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start putting that on my hair. And I like to divide my hair in two and just, just start running my fingers through it. Now, what I love about the souffle is that it gives the effect that your hair is still kind of wet when it dries like you'll see what i mean when my hair is dry it just still kind of looks it gives it like the little wet look and that's what i like about this this is the only product that i found that does that because there's another one uh, by cantu it's like the custer and i think it's their imitation or their try at doing the souffle i like it too I'll show it to you because I have it. Um, the only thing that I don't like about the custard is that it does flake up your hair a little bit after like day two of using it. Like if like, let's say if you're not like on a wash day and you know, us curly hairs, we don't wash our hair every day because you don't want to, you lose the moisture in your hair. But if you put it on, it just starts to flake up in the little areas. I've noticed where the souffle doesn't do that. Now the good thing about the custard is that it's more affordable. It's only like five, five something where the souffle can run you 11 to $14. You know, unless you get it at Walgreens and they always have the sale where it's like buy one, get one half off. And that's when I like to take advantage of the Shea Moisture products. I'm putting a lot in here, guys. So, okay, I think I'm done distributing this. Let me show you the custard real quick. So this is the Cantu Custard that I was talking about. Defines and Shine Custard. Let me show you on the side. You see how the texture is kind of the same. It's just a different color. To me, I, I think this one smells better. But I'm going to show you both of them. See that? So this looks more like a jelly. But so does this. It's just that it's white, so you can't really tell. It smells amazing, guys. What I'm going to do now because my blow dryer died on me and so I cannot diffuse my hair <laughs> until I go buy one. I'll go buy one this weekend. I bought this at a Daiso, a Japanese store when I was in Texas and I love this glove, guys. I freaking love this glove. It's a towel, but it's made out of like that material. It's not like, like a towel towel material. It's more like that uh, fiber, um, I don't know how to call it, but it's to take out the excess water in your hair and you just crunch up your hair like this this was a dollar fifty guys and I bought like two or three I have like two or three put away just in case I lose one but I love this glove and then you see how it soaks up all that and it doesn't frizz up your hair so I'm gonna just turn it around because the other side is dry and continue to do that on this side just scrunch it up scrunch it up and your hair dries so much faster when you do this now if you don't have this glove go ahead and use like a t-shirt or they sell like um this fabric this material at the dollar store they have some like little towels that you can use and just use that instead of a towel because towel will frizz up your hair all right so now you see how it's completely soaked Look at all that. My hair is a little dry. And I'm just gonna let my hair dry like this. All right. So, here's my hair. I'll be back when my hair is completely dry so you guys can see what my hair looks like. My hair is completely dry. You see how it still looks kind of shiny? know if you guys if the camera's picking it up but it still looks like it's wet it's not it's completely dry 
So that's what I like about the souffle. It gives it that wet, shiny look that I like. But it's not. It's not wet, guys. It's completely dry. But there is my look. Yeah, so this is my hair with just the Shea Moisture. Like I said, the only thing that I used was my leave-in conditioner from African Pride. I'll put down below all of the products that I use on my hair. I really love Shea Moisture. I love the way it leaves my hair. It's a little pricey, but it's worth the money. And like I said, take advantage of when it's at Walgreens for buy one, get one half off. They do do it a lot of times. And a lot of times they also have a coupon. So you know you can get it at a good price if you look out for the sales with that said guys i just want to say my hair wasn't always like this i get a lot of people who me oh my god i love your hair oh my god it's so pretty it's so curly and i it, it it took me a while to love my hair growing up my whole life i was told that my hair was ugly that my hair was kinky my sister has beautiful spiral loose curls she was always the pretty one because of her hair my mom at the time didn't know how to deal with my hair so she used to buzz cut it and it used to be really really short like a little afro and i did not learn how to completely deal with my curls until i moved to florida and i feel like I was kind of like forced to figure out okay what am I gonna do with this hair because all my life I had relaxers I've always blow dried it before the flat irons were in do the doobie doobie which is when you wrap it around your hair to stretch it and you go to sleep you know with it like that and then when you leave it down it comes down and nothing against you know blow drying this hair and looking straight I like it that way too but I was just always told that curls were ugly and I had boys tell me, you know, if you if you straighten your hair, you will be so much prettier. If you are out there, have curly hair, don't believe that guys. Embrace your curls, love your curls. Because now curl, if you've noticed, everybody's trying to get curls. Everybody's trying to make the bigger the curls, the better. And you know, putting in the weave with the curls and everything like that. Love your curls, love your hair because it is yours. God gave it to you for a reason. It matches your face, it matches who you are. And once you damage your curl, it, it takes a while for you to get back to the curls. When I came here, I'm like, I gotta figure it out because it was so hot and humid in Florida that I couldn't wear my hair blow dried. Every time I would straighten it and go outside, by the time we got to wherever, it would be shriveled up and you know, like a big puff on my head. And I would pull it back or twist it up and put a little bobby pin. So I couldn't wear it straight. So I started saying, you know what? I need to figure out how to wear my curls. Once I started trying to wear my hair, it just looked stringy and ugly. So I had to cut it super short. It was like a little bit past my uh, chin here. And um, little by little, just with deep conditioning, some love, you know, uh, my curls started to come back. And I still have areas like maybe like right here a little bit. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, they're still like, like that are not completely curled. And I lost kind of like the curl pattern, but just my curls are back and I love them. I love them. And I wish that I didn't listen to those ignorant people. There's always going to be ignorant people out there and just I would have just embraced my curls and who cares? I wish I was the person that I am today back in those days because I would have been like, you know what? Nobody asked you. Well, who cares or if you think i look prettier with straight hair then go with somebody else who said i was interested in you you guys gotta think like that well, if somebody's telling you that you don't need that person in your life okay oh if somebody's talking about your skin color that you're too dark to screw them then you know what we don't need to be friends so i don't need to date you if you have a problem with my skin color you know but yeah i went through all of that but now at this age i love it i embrace it and i love who i am so anyways i thought i would just throw that in there oh and i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you enjoyed the the curls try out share moisture if you haven't and like i said look out for deals if you think it's a little pricey there's always deals out there if i see any deals i'll post it on my instagram and give you guys a heads up i always try to share my deals and you know my special finds with you guys on my instagram so before i leave Y'all know I gotta hit you up with if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to click on that subscription button, click on that notification bell so you know when my videos are popping and don't forget to drop a like. In the meanwhile, guys, as always, remember to be blessed. Mwah.